Yo, what up, street gods? Eric Kim. All right, the thought. Why Seneca uh, is my favorite philosopher of all time. So, long story short, he's the ultimate doer philosopher who's probably existed in history, who actually had to deal with the politics and the real world. And also, Seneca used to be fabulously rich, millionaire, quadrillionaire, bajillionaire by today's modern standards. Yet he still, you know, followed his stoic principles. Yet, you know, he was kind of an imperfect human being. And that's actually what makes him so uh, admirable. So, you know, like, I, I love Nietzsche too, but the problem with Nietzsche, you know, dude, I think a lot of his writings came from like inferiority bias. Whereas Seneca, he was actually just dealing with anxiety all the time because he's afraid he's going to get his head chopped off by Nero. So, as a consequence, we could probably trust more the Stoic philosophy of, uh, let's say, a Seneca than the kind of more esoteric philosophies of Nietzsche. I mean, I still love Nietzsche to death, but, you know, Nietzsche, a lot of his anti-female sentiment might have been because he couldn't get his, you know, love of his life. Maybe he just wasn't that good with women, I don't know. Um, Seneca don't really know his sex life either, but uh, and also the sad thing with Nietzsche too is that like um, you know he he fell victim to like uh, in so, um, you know the the crazy thing towards the end of his life insanity. Whereas Seneca, you know, he took his he took his life like a real mensch. But anyways, so Seneca. So this is what I think. This is also why I admire Nassim Taleb, and I think he's the best living uh, philosopher probably of all time, is that one cannot really gauge one's opinion without real life exposure. So Nassim Taleb calls this skin of the game. Now what is skin of the game? Skin of the game means you're actually connected with reality. And whatever you're saying isn't just a bunch of uh, random fluff. But actually, you're the real deal because whatever you're saying is you've engaged with reality and like uh, Nassim Taleb says in Skin of the Game, the, like Anateus, the, the giant, you need to have your feet grounded to embodied reality if you used to have a much more accurate opinion on uh, things. But anyways, so... My general thought is one must be both a doer and a philosopher and actually it's much more effective if one is first a doer and then afterwards becomes a philosopher rather than somebody who purely is just a philosopher without having any sort of grounding to reality. So to me this is really important because too many philosophers are just you know skinny fat dudes who are bullied as kids and there is no kind of muscular, strong, the more, more power lifters should become philosophers and more philosophers should also become power lifters is my personal saying. So, this means be very skeptical of what skinny fat men talk about masculinity because I'm like, yo, you're probably just talking about that because you can't get buff or get swole or, you know, men who are very, you know, sexist Maybe it's low key because they, you know, they're not good with women. So it's hard to judge people's sincerity or their their truthiness unless it's somehow grounded in reality and embodied reality and how they actually interact with people in real life. So yeah, the reason why this is really important to me is I think there's so much misinformation out there. And one of the biggest causes of misinformation is that People get easily duped and suckered into believing X, Y, and Z without actually the real life ramifications with connection with reality. So yeah, once again, I'm all for, um, I'm much more about reality. I'm much more about uh, embodied reality. I'm less about you know people who are trying to just kind of game the system for their own personal gain. So maybe this is towards a more uh, honest approach. This is towards just um, 
having more personal courage to talk about things in the real world. Um, not getting easily suckered or deceived by people who have other low-key hidden motives. And towards being more critical of reality. 